بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على المبعوث رحمة للعالمين نبينا وحبيبنا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد My dear brothers and sisters May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you good and tawfiq in this dunya and falah in the hereafter I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to aid all of us to make use of these uh, 10 days that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted the Ummah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Yesterday, alhamdulillah, we talk about the importance of uh, the sunnah prayers in the life of the, the believer. And today, inshallah, I will emphasize on three types of uh, sunan that I really, I really recommend that you shouldn't miss them throughout your life. Number one is the witr. Number two is the buha prayer. Number three is the rawati. For the witr, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa was informed by Jibreel one day. Jibreel alayhi wa told him, Ya Muhammad, Live as long as you, you wish, but one day, a day will come, you will die and go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And love whomsoever you wish, but you have to know that one day you will leave this person. And do whatever you want in this dunya, but you should know that whatever you do, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will hold you responsible and accountable of that. It is wa'alam anna sharaf al-mu'min qiyamuhu billayl. He said, Ya Muhammad, you should know that the nobility, the high ranking that the Muslim get, the heavy and big respect that the Muslim have in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the sharaf, you know, the honor and nobility of a Muslim lies in the qiyamul layl, the night prayers. Wa izzuhu istagna'u anil nas. And if he wants to be aziz, somebody who is highly respected, Nobody is disrespecting him. Loved by others, he should show no interest in that which other people have. This is advice from Jibreel to the best amongst the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that he should engage in the Qiyam al-Layl which witr is the most important part of the Qiyam al-Layl. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam take some part of the night and pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a nafila, additional task for you because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to resurrect you at the best, best position uh, on the Day of Judgment when you meet Him. So the brother and says, this is one of the best act of worship that a person does to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa never miss a witr. Therefore, I really urge and I advise you not to miss a single witr prayer throughout your life. Train yourself in these 10 days to make sure you're familiar with it. Maybe Allah SWT will grant you ability to continue uh, praying these, uh, uh, this witr prayers, the night prayer, until the day you meet him. The second uh, type of prayer is a duha prayer. This is the prayer that you pray uh, 10 minutes after the sunrise, and you have the time from th this moment until 10 minutes before uh, the zuhur time to pray these two rakat. And subhanAllah, the Prophet said, these are the prayers that angels come to witness this moment when you pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are very special in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, every day you are supposed to be giving charity up to 360 times. But he said that two rakat of duha will suffice all of this. And the last one is the, the rawatib. And these are the prayers that the Prophet said, if you pray them, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will build for you a house in Jannah. You pray these prayers, Allah SWT will make a house for you in Jannah. And what are the rawati? These are the four rakat I pray before Dhuhr, and the two rakat after Dhuhr, and the two rakat after Maghrib, and the two rakat after Isha, and the two rakat before Fajr, which are the, the two rakat, and the, the two rakat that we usually pray before Fajr prayer. So these are one of the most important sunnah prayers that you do to please Allah SWT, my dear brothers and sisters. I really suggest and recommend that you should train yourself. You should train yourself to be familiar with these uh, prayers, not to miss them throughout your life. Make sure you meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with these ones. Inshallah, we even like ta'ala, you will not regret in your life. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you ability to be among those people who are not sticking to the wajibat, but they add on top of that the sunnah prayers to make sure that they don't get into trouble when they meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. بارك الله فيكم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته